And another one that is kind of going off that Houston uh, same vibe, really, really heavy, obviously, in the transfer portal. Sonny Dykes and his SMU Mustangs. Obviously, we're talking about signing, not necessarily the transfer porter, portal here, but what have you seen out of this 21 class for, for the Mustangs? SMU's class is better than many Power 5 classes. Mm-hmm. That's pretty much all you got to say. They landed Preston Stone. Uh, he was going to be – he's an All-American quarterback, committed to them during the All-American game last year when, you know, pre-COVID, um, when we still had those games going on, yeah. which was nice. But uh, up in – up and down the list. I mean, all these guys are offered by Power 5 schools pretty much on their commit list. And all, I, we all have things to do. It's National Signing Day. We've got other meetings coming up and stuff like that. So I'm just going to give you the rundown really quickly. SMU of the group of five schools in Texas has an elite class. Mm-hmm. There's no doubt about it. What they've been able to do on the high school trail matches what they've been able to do in the transfer portal. As a matter of fact, I look into their transfer portal right now, and I think that they've done such a good job that – they're going to be a team that could potentially go undefeated next year. I'd like to look at that schedule again, but yeah. they, I don't see a whole lot of L's No, based on what they have coming in talent-wise. Not any glaring ones, at If least. it gels. If Tanner Mordecai, Mordecai can come in, gel with the offense, and they can keep clicking on all cylinders, uh, I think they're going to be really, really good. And behind SMU, I have UTSA. I love what Jeff Tra- Trailer did. Um, his first year as the head coach there. He really has an eye for Texas high school football talent. Uh, coaches love him. Mm-hmm. Players love him. Players love to play for him. And that's easy to see. They they snuck in a commitment from Converse Judson, running back De- DeAnthony Lewis, to add to mammoth offensive lineman Cameron Scott, quarterback Eddie Lee Marburger. Let ELM cook. There you Jeff. go. <laughs> uh, Ronnie Garza, a great offensive lineman in this class as well. And they sprinkled in a little bit of OU transfer Ron Tatum, who Mm -hmm. was an All-American in his own right on the defensive front. If they can find a quarterback in the transfer portal, I think that's imperative. They need to find a quarterback. Mm -hmm. If they can, I think UTSA's Jeff Trailer could potentially name his destination next year when coaching talk comes around. I know UTSA fans probably hate to hear that because (laughs) he's an up-and-comer. But if they can find a quarterback to put into this Mm -hmm. group, then Jeff Trailer is going to be an elite name, I think, whenever coach when jobs open up this time next year or a little bit earlier than this. Absolutely, Letty Ellen Cook. I'm going to say it one more time because <laughs> that's our most special RGV boy this year. But that'll do it. Our special programming DCTF National Signing Day Central. We will be cutting all of these and putting them up on YouTube. So if you came in late and missed any of them, we will have them for you there. We've also got um, another article out and some more stuff on TexasFootball.com. Correct? Yeah, National Signing Day Central. We're trying tracking all of the major recruiting news. You can go back through that for a quick read. And like uh, Ashley said, we're going to have each one of these broken down by team and available for you all tonight if you want to hear some more about your top or your favorite program. But that that's a wrap. All the Hot 100 guys are now committed. LJ mm-hmm. Johnson was the final one. So all the DCTF Hot 100 guys are committed and going on to play college football. So congratulations to everyone that signed today. Make sure to celebrate, wear a mask, and powers. Really appreciate your time. Uh, Enjoy the, I guess, a little bit of a break, can you say, after this day? Uh, I know recruiting never stops, but maybe a deep breath. (laughs) Keep your eyes on the site next week. We're ready to drop some 22 rankings on (laughs) y'all.